Hey everyone. Today I'm gonna show you guys uh, briefly how to make some pretty cool landscapes without putting too much work into it. And then uh, secondly I'm gonna show you guys how to texture the landscape using UV mapping. So let's begin. First of all you're gonna need to enable a new feature that Blender added um, called uh, the Ant Landscape add-on. So to enable that go to File user preferences, go to the add-ons tab up here, then on the left hand side select add mesh, and then at the very top over here um, you'll see this feature here, um, you'll just want to enable it by selecting this uh, checkbox, it's called the ant landscape add-on. Once you've enabled that, uh, click save as default and that'll make it so that every time you open Blender it's already um, enabled. Alright, so once we've done that, we're going to go to Add, Mesh, and Landscape. And there's our little landscape. Alright, um, we have all the uh, settings over here on the left side on the landscape menu, so I'm going to grab that and pull it up. Alright, once you've done that, um, we can go over some of these uh, settings here. I won't go over all of them, but uh, I do have a link in the description that will take you to a pretty nice tutorial that walks over all of these. It's a pretty easy tutorial to follow, so check it out. Um, first option up here is Mesh Update. Um, if you uncheck that, as you change the different settings, you won't see them change on the mesh. So uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that enabled. Uh, the Sphere checks checkbox here will actually just turn the landscape into a sphere. It's great for making rocks or boulders. We'll uh, leave that unchecked. And then the smooth checkbox, of course, will either make it a smooth landscape or an unsmooth landscape. So uh, the subdivisions here, you can decide uh, basically uh, how detailed the landscape is. Um, you know, if you take it up to like 128, you can immediately see the difference there. Um, so it's great if uh, you know, you're kind of far away from the landscape and you still want to be able to see detail. It's pretty nice. Um, but it's also going to kill your rendering time, so uh, beware of that. So <clears throat> we're going to keep it to uh, 64 just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, and then uh, mesh size here will basically just uh, choose how big the mesh is. Um, so, but it'll also spread out the uh, the actual texture, or the uh, not the texture, the uh, little bumps. It'll spread them out evenly across the mesh. So, um, until you start messing with the feet with the settings over here on the left, uh, we're gonna keep it the mesh size just to two, just for the tutorial. All right. Um, over here, you have the uh, type of terrain you want. So if you select that and start checking out some of them, you'll see the differences. Um, shattered terrain here. Um, I have marble. We've got distorted. This one's kind of nice if you want to do like sand dunes or something like that. Um, you know, a bunch of different ones. You can kind of play with them and see which one you like the best. Um, and within uh, within each one of these terrains you'll actually have a bunch of different choices in how you want it to look so uh, if you go over here to where it says random seed and you start uh, changing that you'll see uh, different versions of the same type of terrain so I like seed number five so we'll go with that there um, the other settings here will just basically change how high the uh, the little uh, bumps are and um, you know how uh, how high or how low the sea level is, and just like that. Um, so um, yeah, uh, just check out that link at the bottom. It'll give you a really awesome rundown on all these different features here, um, or you can just play around with them and just see what they do. Um, so, anyways, let's get to the texturing part. Um, we're gonna split this image in two. So um, grab, go to the top right corner until your uh, cursor becomes a little uh, cross. 
and uh, select it and pull that out there. Um, then uh, on this left panel over here, we're going to go down to the bottom left corner, select this, and go up to UV Image Editor. All right. Now go back to the right side, and we're going to select the mesh and switch to edit mode. And then uh, with everything selected, we're going to press U to pull up the UV mapping menu. And then what we're going to do is basically unwrap this mesh. We're going to flatten it out so, uh, so that we can put a picture on it, and we can move around the picture while the mesh is flat. So um, um, you have a few different ways, uh, or a few different options here. Um, if you're working with a sphere, like if you're trying to make uh, a planet or a globe, um, sphere projection would be best. Um, you have cylinder projection, cube projection. I'm going to go with cube projection just because we have a bunch of different faces um, in this mesh. So let's, uh, let's select that. And this right here on the left side is basically the mesh flattened out completely. So now we want to add our texture. Um, so to, uh, to add the texture, we're going to just find a random picture of a texture you want to use. Um, I went to Google Images and typed dirt texture and just chose this one, this one right here. Um, so once you found the uh, texture that you like, save it to your computer. Go back to Blender and go to Image. And we're going to go to Open Image. And then find the texture that you saved. All right. And there you go. Now on the right side, we're going to go down here to uh, the Viewpoint Shading button and select Texture. All right, and that's going to let the texture uh, appear on the actual object there. So um, go back to edit mode, and uh, over here on the left side, um, the reason the UV mapping is useful is you can actually uh, scale down the flattened mesh if you want to change exactly how the uh, texture is laid out on the mesh itself. Um, so just like that, I mean, I can make it you know really small would make the mesh look very very well or very detailed um, you know but for instance uh, on this right side over here you can kinda see that the dirt's a little bit darker than the left side um, so say you want to uh, you know have your mesh be a little bit darker you could pull it over here to the right side and only use the uh, darkened portion of the dirt so um, you know it's great for uh, it's definitely great for uh, planets you can uh, or planets or uh, globes, you can grab the map and just kind of move it around the globe until you have it in the exact position you want it. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to actually just uh, keep it the same size as the uh, picture here. Just because it kind of looks the best. Alright, so now when you try to render this image over here, you notice that the texture didn't stick to it, right? So in order to make that texture stick to the mesh, um, we're actually going to switch over to the edit mode. Um, and then um, go over here to the uh, material button on the uh, right side column. And once you're in the material button, or the material tab, whatever, um, you'll go to new to add a new material. You want to lower your uh, specular intensity down to zero because we don't want our mountains to be shiny unless you're making like metallic mountains or something you know <laughs> um, but uh, let's see uh, now we're gonna go over to the texture tab and uh, go to new change the type of texture to image or movie and then uh, go down here to the image setting and then select the left button over here and select the dirt texture or whatever texture you saved select that All right. now we're gonna scroll down to where it says mapping and then for coordinates we're gonna change that to UV and then 
if you have multiple uh, UV maps, you could select which one you have, um, which one you want. Um, in this case, we only have one, so we'll just select that. All right. So now, when we render the image, the texture actually stuck. So um, that's pretty much it as far as uh, about UV mapping. Um, uh, there's a lot more. Uh, more in-depth videos you could probably check out, um, but this is just a basic rundown, uh, just to give you uh, just some uh, some key concepts. Um, now I'm gonna I want to add some lighting to this texture here, so um, I'm gonna switch back to uh, just the one view here, and I'm gonna go down here to the bottom left and go to the 3D view, and I'm gonna add some lights here. Oh, uh, gotta make sure you're in object mode. And um, gonna add uh, some spotlights here. Then, if you want, you can actually switch over to the uh, texture view to see how the texture is being affected by the lighting. Add one there. Add one to the back here. And maybe one more. All right. So, got a three-point lighting rig there, just so I have all the uh, all the sides of the uh, terrain covered. And um, switch to the camera view. We'll uh, oh. we'll select the camera and zoom in a little bit. And then render your image. And voila. Got a pretty nifty uh, landscape with some nice terrain or some nice texturing uh, added to it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, just post a comment below or uh, send me a message. Thanks for watching.